Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a math challenge for you with prizes available. This challenge is about square numbers. A square number is a counting number such that that many objects can be arranged in the form of a square in rows and columns. For example, 9 is a square number because we can arrange 9 marbles like this in a 3 by 3 square the same number of rows as columns, three rows, three columns. We can get nine by multiplying three times itself, three times three. I have here a two-column table in which the right-hand column is a list of the first 12 square numbers. Uh, in the left-hand column I have counting numbers in order, 1, 2, 3, and so on. I multiply each of those numbers by itself to get the number in the right-hand column. I've got this table down through 12 to the second power, or 12 times 12, or 12 squared. We have to understand that the table goes on indefinitely. I have made two earlier videos which may be helpful in solving the challenge that I am about to give you. They are my video on square numbers and my square root video. I am putting links to those videos below this one, and I invite you to watch them if you haven't already as preparation for working on this challenge. For many years, as a math teacher in the classroom and also in private tutoring, I have observed that, to my sorrow, students nowadays rely too heavily on calculators. So I am asking you, as you work on this challenge, please don't use a calculator. Use your own brain and use pencil and paper as needed. I developed the challenge in that way without using a calculator, and I ask you to reciprocate by not using a calculator as you try to solve it. Here is a sample question. Suppose I would ask, what are three consecutive square numbers that add up to 302? They are in the right-hand column of this table. You could pause the video now and try to find them. Here they are, 81, 100, and 121. Three consecutive square numbers that add up to 302. So here is my challenge. What three consecutive square numbers add up to 6,160,469? If you can answer that without using a calculator, please don't give me the answer here at the comment section of this video. Instead, go to my profile page, find Send Message, and click on that and message me your answer. If you are correct on your first try, you can have a prize if you want it. The prize that I offer is an audio file from my piano archives, a selection of me playing my piano, a selection that I recorded many years ago. If you need help deciding whether you would like a prize, you can go to my profile page, find a piano videos playlist, and watch one or more of those videos. If you want the prize, please request it and include your email address. In any event, I hope that if you work on this challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.